Let's see what went wrong. Forgot my tripod, had to go back and get it. Then I forgot my phone, had to go back and get it. Then my filter case got a wave in it. That wasn't great. Then my bag got sand in it. Also wasn't great. Then my shoes got soaked before I decided to take them off. So it's been a bit of a bit of a busy morning. I think I'm going to have a little bit of work to do later today to clean everything off. This morning was definitely a little bit difficult, um, not my shining moment. I had more than a few things go wrong and I think I'm going to blame it more on mental mental exhaustion more than anything. Uh, I've been getting up at 6am most days and haven't even gone back to my place until 10 o'clock at night so been out all day whether it's driving or just hiking around. Um, I think it's beginning to take its toll on me. For these shots today, I was trying something a little bit different using my new reverse graduated filter, also called a strip filter. And, you know, as the name implies, it's reverse. So most graduated filters get darker from the top and then they progressively get less and less towards the middle. Whereas the reverse has the darkest point right along the middle part of the filter, which works really well for sunrise and sunsets, um, where you have a straight horizon, no uh, distracting foreground. So, um, certainly a seascape works really well and uh, I was able to, you know, not have to do multiple exposure blending and get the, the right exposure for both the sky and the darker rocks below. So um, I think it's really important for situations like this where you, you kind of have to get it right in one shot, otherwise you're going to put a lot more work on yourself. Um, the sun is constantly moving, uh, the sun creates those beautiful glowing reflections off the water and if you have to combine multiple shots you know it might just not work as well and it might be a little bit more difficult for you so um, the filter worked pretty well uh, I liked it I think I'll be using more of it I've moved off from where everyone else was, but I was shooting uh, right in the water there. I had my shoes off, rolled my pants up, uh, got a little bit wet for sure, uh, but the water was actually a little bit warmer than the air, so it was a little bit refreshing. Uh, just gonna have to deal with the salt water everywhere, uh, see how I can get back to my hotel and clean it. This is called, again, I might uh, butcher the word, but it's either Meraki Beach or Marrakei Beach. Uh, it's a very unique place where the the boulders here, if you can see them, uh, there's quite a few of them. Sometimes they're on their own, sometimes there's a few of them grouped together, but many of them are almost perfect spheres. Um, some are a little bit more elongated, but um, other ones are, you know, they're really round and they have these beautiful textures on them. My understanding is that it's uh, a mixture of stone and mud that has caused these shapes and, you know, the wind and the water's been eroding it over time. And so um, more and more of them are constantly being exposed here. So it's a really interesting, unique place. I've never seen or even heard anything like this before, so um, definitely a really cool place to shoot.
I'm here uh, on morning number two, I guess it is, and uh, it doesn't really matter that I was more prepared. Uh, I got up a little bit earlier, I made sure my gear was protected, and I, I had a plan of how I was gonna set up so that I could go through that and not risk some of the mishaps I had yesterday morning, but the sun at the sunrise wasn't cooperating. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, just a little bit of strip on the horizon where the sun was barely able to peek through. So. Um, there is, you know, a little bit of a pop of color, but it's not really doing much for me. So I did take a few shots, but you know, nothing. I, I, nothing. I don't think is a, a keeper, unfortunately. Sometimes it's hard not to take a photo. A discipline, I guess, I'm still working on. But yesterday was really good, so I think I got some great shots, and uh, I'm definitely happy. Uh, even though I spent two days and one day I didn't get quite what I was looking for.